Welcome back and welcome in. We are back on Happy Home Paradise from Potpourri with another one of Hawkins' builds. He's going to get into his uniform here. This is going to be his sixth build, his sixth design for Happy Home. We'll see what kind of clients he has to choose from here. He just did some shopping with his pokey that he's been earning from doing these designs. Let's see, music, black and white, arcade. Oh, this is right up Hawkins Alley. This is a no-brainer, of course, from Claude. Hawkins does already have an arcade in his own house back on Potpourri, so he should have no problem doing this build. So let's go ahead and start talking to dear Claude here. Uh, this is neat. <laughs> so he probably wants some arcade games, I'm assuming. Yep, arcade game and the claw machine and a chair. Alright, so we gotta choose an island layout. So let's just kind of speed through these islands here to pick one that we want for Claude. We'll give him one kind of on a dock. That can seem kind of arcadey. Now Claude. We found an excellent location, but you'll need to see it for yourself. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and lead Claude to the island that we chose. And then let's get to building. Or designing, rather. Okay, so it's kind of in a little cranny here against the side of the cliff. Home game hideaway. So we can just start placing some items, I think. Just start to get some stuff that could be like an outdoor part of the arcade. So we don't want any of these game machines outdoors because we don't want weather to affect them. So let's go to our everything tab. Just kind of choose some items that could go out here. This is kind of game-like or arcade-like. Let's see. Want some lights? Maybe once we start looking through everything else and we'll make a decision from there. Um, candy machine, I think, would go out here. We'll keep that in mind. Garden faucet, shaved ice. Let's see. We just want to take a quick glance at everything first to see what we're looking at, and then we can go back and start choosing some items. Okay, and then this is just all closed. So let's go back up to the top here. If we can get this looking kind of like neon, maybe we could, maybe we could use that, but I don't think that will go really. Tables, low boards, diner tables. Closed closet. I don't like the closed closet. Let's choose this race car. What color would we want it? Hmm. 
have a blue. Let's go with the classic red. I think the classic red will be right up Claude's alley. What else can we put outside here, though? Popcorn machine, I think for sure. Train set, mm, I don't think so. Candy machine, we did want that. We'll keep the train set out here for now. Let's just kind of start moving some of the stuff around. We want to redesign the house to make it look more like an arcade. Which setup do we want, though? We can stick with that layout, but change the colors of the roof and the building to look more like an arcade. Striped siding? Seems kind of arcade-like. More so than brick, I think. Oh, the panel siding is nice. And then the door we need to change to look more like an arcade door. Vertical panes. I like that, but let's change... No, I Hmm, not sure about the colors that they have for sighting. <laughs> Let's start moving some of this stuff over. I think if we put... This and the entryway here. And then move the snacks here. So, like, you can get snacks on your way in. This we can move over here because this is just like it's a rocket that's going to take off from the dock. Put some gumballs here. And this maybe right in between the docks. Move this down here like he's just parked his car here at the entryway. Okay, what else do we have here? Slide. That's more like a toy thing. That's not an arcade. Dartboard we can put out here. He loves that. Let's see, we want to get some lighting that looks kind of like that will light up at night to make it look more arcade-like. But I don't think the snowflakes will quite do it. We need like neon lights and stuff. Like an 80s arcade, like Hawkins has. I don't think there's much else that really could go outside. Now we're in the close here. Let's scroll down to... Oh, trees and bushes and flowers and stuff. We can do... Oh, a decorated tree. That lights up. Even though that's kind of for Christmas, but the lights would kind of look neat for an arcade kind of vibe. I don't think we would have any flowers here. Claude doesn't strike me as much of a flowers type of bunny. 
Let's move the tree away from the door. But, uh, it won't go any closer to the cliff than that. Um, we might have to move some stuff around. Let's get some pathing though. We want to do a brick path. Oh, and it's kind of off center from the door though. Dang, I hate how these don't line up. If we move the house to the left, move this down here, move this over. Oh, it's only going to go another full tile, but it's still going to be kind of off center. We could probably get another tree. Oh, shoot. Yeah, it won't go any closer. Dang. Hmm. I like having two trees, but does that look kind of too crowded? Let's put some more path over here so that it lines up under the door. But now that looks kind of funky because we can't do three all the way across. So if we move the house back... Shoot. Yeah, it's just not going to line up right. I can't see it now with the trees in the way. I should have done this before I did the trees. Okay, so I've lined that up under the house now. Now oh, this won't fit over on the other side, so we can't have that over there. Why did I choose this cramped of a spot? Can I put the dartboard up here? Turn it around that way. Move this over here. Turn it this way. The trees are kind of obstructing the door. I'm not sure if I like that. Some glowing moss, perhaps? And a rock. Because I feel like he wouldn't have the best lawn maintenance outside. Because he'd be more concerned with the inside. Maybe like a natural f flower. But not a whole bunch, like he doesn't have a garden or anything. He just got like a random flower that happened to grow there. <laughs> okay, can get rid of that uh, new recipe that we learned there. We'll just go ahead and leave this outside like this, I think. Because I don't feel like the outside would be very decorated. He'd be more concerned with getting on the inside and making a stellar arcade on the inside. So we'll go ahead inside and open up these boxes. One, two, three. And we can change the type of games these are. We just have to have these games or these machines but we can customize like the crane machine to a different type of crane machine. Oh, we definitely want the club wall, I think, for the arcade. And then the rubber tile flooring, that definitely la looks like an arcade. Alright, so this is all they give us on the order tab, so we'll have to go over to our everything tab. Do we want a reception counter? We don't want a gaming desk because this is a public arcade, not a streamer arcade. Foosball, we can definitely have. 
that would exist in an arcade. Capsule toy machine. Let's customize this to a different color. Let's make that one green. Then we can get some pinball machines. We can get some of the different types of the arcade games. So we can get one of each kind. Let's see. Party garland, wall mounted TV. We should we should use this stuff too. Definitely some neon. We gotta get some neon up in here. But let's see what colors we have. Green, yellow, red, pink, purple. I think that uh, blue, white. Purple I think is gonna match this the best. Definitely want some wall mounted LED. We can customize the design on the LED. And I think I know just the thing that we can do. He has got an 80s design here. We've got Inky, Pinky, Blinky, and Clyde. All right, let's get some more of this neon light. I think we want it all the way across. Except for where Maybe some different colors too, like we can alternate it. Oh, that would look cool, yeah! Purple and then blue. Alright. So if we move this over... Oops. Against the wall there. And we'll just add some more of this. I think I'm just going to put it all the way across and then just customize the different colors rather than copy in one color, copy in the other color, copy in one color, copy in the other color. We'll just spread it all the way out and then customize our colors. All right. So this needs to be purple, and then this needs to be purple, and then this needs to be purple, and then this needs to be purple. Oh wait a minute, let's go back to this one and make sure because I don't want to throw us off on the side that we already started. Okay, so then this first one on the left here will be purple. And then this will be purple. And then this will be purple. All right, and I think that is perfect, yes. Perfecto! Let's move this. Um, let's see what else we can put in here. We want party garlands. Do we want just on that one wall? Oh, we definitely need a TV. We need to have a TV in the arcade. Mini circuits, speakers. Let's go ahead and put that up. Magazines, Nintendos. Okay, going over to the wall mounted. What other wall mounted things could we have? A clock. 
throwback wall clock, I think, would be fitting for an arcade. We just gotta pick the color that we want. Purple would kind of match the color scheme we got going on with the purple and blue. Then we've got, let's move stuff around to where we're gonna want it. There. Move these on either side of the LED. Then we can start arranging some of these games. Any other kind of hanging thing that we want? Shaded lamp? Or would the enamel lamp fit best for an arcade? What colors does each of these have? Blue. Blue matches the little squares on the floor. Let's get some few of these placed. Want one in the middle. But we don't want it to be too light because we do want that kind of dark arcade vibe. Put this on this side, and then the capsule machine on the other side of the clock. Oh, right in the corner here. That's that's gonna fit better. If we move these games along this wall here. Oops. Oh, but the LED light is too low. So let's move, hmm, if we take out, two of the neon lights and put it here. Let's see how that looks here. Yeah! That's perfect! Okay, so then we'll move this machine over here. This machine... Um, yeah, let's keep them close. I was thinking to have it under the LED, like the three machines, but then you'd be blocking off the capsule machine. So the foosball we'll put here, or over here, because you need to be able to be on both sides of it. We need some more of these chairs for the arcade games. So we'll do gray, oops, okay, put that there, put that there, put this here. Got our claw machine, got our capsule machine, got our foosball, got the TV, got the neon. I'm really liking this. This is really neat. Okay, what else can we get in here to really fill this arcade vibe? Need something else on the wall over here, I think. We need stuff on either side of the door. Ooh! Prizes! There's prizes in arcades! So you get your, your tickets or your tokens you can redeem for prizes. So let's put some plushies up for the prizes. And let's get a couple of different styles. So that will be the prize wall on either side of the door here where you can redeem your your tickets or tokens or whatever kind of monetary value this arcade is going to use. Hi, chair. <laughs> um, let's see, what else do we have here? 
Do we need any tables or chairs or anything? We got the race car bed outside. Iron closet. Shelves. Kitchen. Lamps. Water coolers. Toilet. We should probably get a toilet in here, but then we'd need partitions. Drink machine. Maybe. We've already got the capsule machine. We've got these. We've got the claw game. Pinball! Gotta have some pinball in an arcade, right? Definitely going with the blue and purple. Let's keep them with the theme. And then let's get a... another one. So we'll have two pinballs. And he's really happy about that. Um, so do we want to put them against this wall here? But we don't want to block off the arcade games. And we don't want to hit our head on the, the plushy shelves. Um, we might have to rearrange something. If we move this here, that's still kind of in the way of the plushy shelf, but... Hmm. Move this against the corner. No, I think it was... We could have it a little bit closer to the corner and have another one. But a different kind. Like maybe customize this one to be a different type of crane game. I think we're going to have to go with the blue. Oh, this black looks cool though. With the flames on it, that looks really cool. I'm not sure I'm digging the setup. That plushy shelf on the left is right in the way of that uh, capsule machine. So we might have to move something here. Snack machine? Do we want to put a snack machine in here as well so that people can get snacks without having to go outside to get the popcorn? But now the problem is where am I going to put this? Because we haven't unlocked resizing the rooms yet. If I put the pinballs under the TV, that does block the arcade game. Dang. I just don't think there's room for everything that we want to have in here. Let's... figure something out here. Move this over. But the clock is being blocked now and the capsule machine is blocked. Because we have it facing the wrong way. But let me just see... And we can move this over and this over to make just one prize wall.
Let's see. I gotta figure. I gotta think on this second here. This could be. Oh, we gotta move this capsule machine. But then we gotta move the pinball here. But we don't wanna block the actual arcade games. This. Oops. I hate how it always turns a full turn when it's right against the wall. Okay, so that fits perfectly on this wall over here. And now we just gotta figure out if we move this. Center that a little bit there so that it's not centered to the wall, but it's centered against the machines feeling in that empty space there. But I don't like it. My OCD doesn't like it. <laughs> so if we put a drink machine, sports drink, sale, cute. Oh, that's the advertisement panel, which we can customize. So let's customize it with something 80s. Twin Pines, 80s, Star Wars, 80s Arcade, Flux Capacitor, MTV, Neon. Uh, let's scroll back up here. Gotta just figure out which 80s icon we want to have on here. Hmm. I think the... It's the DeLorean drink machine. <laughs> I think we'll go with black. Alright. So we can put that there. Oh, no, it won't center. Oh god, that's gonna drive me nuts. Um the corner is not quite big enough. So if we put this this way and the drink machine on here. That looks better. Okay, that works. That works perfectly with that little corner there. And then the clock is still centered between the two machines. Very nice. I like it. He's got to turn the TV on. He can get into here. Yo, it's not letting him turn the TV on. Shoot. Okay, so let's move this out just a smidge, just so he can turn the TV on. Let's go and turn the TV on, and then we'll get back into Designer and move that pinball machine back where it was. Just so everything's on, we have everything all situated. And that gives him a little bit more room on the arcade there, too. So he can get to that, he can get to the arcade games, he can get to the claw machines. He can get to the drink and the snack, he can get to the foosball. Perfect! Awesome, awesome! Let's take some pictures! Let's get rid of... Hawkins. Let's get rid of Claude. Let's get rid of the the text. 
Let's get a picture of everything. Okay, this... We want to make sure we get the LED light too because it's got the ghosts on it. The Inky Binky Pinky and Clyde. We want to be able to get the drink machines in too. That is perfect. Alright. Um... I think that's it. Let's talk to Claude. What's up, Hop Along? Oh, are you done? Yep, it's ready. Ready, ready. Yay! You're the best! No, you! Yes. We put our love into this arcade. Alright, he's gonna look around, we'll get some pictures. He's so cute. Maybe someday we'll get him on our island. Can't remember if we have his amiibo or not. Oh, that's a really good picture. Yeah, <laughs> he's so happy. Oh, you're sitting the wrong way, Claude. You gotta face the machine to play it. All right. Thank you. Hope you're enjoying this design of Hawkins. We don't want the outside pick as our pick. We'll have the inside pick as our pick. All right, and that has everything we want on it, so we're going to go ahead and head out. We're heading back. Got a promise to- oh, we'll, we'll come back and play with you, Claude. Please click that like and subscribe and the notification bell, and also check out all of our videos on this channel. We don't just have Animal Crossing, we've also got Lego games and Dinkum, and we've even played some Clue on here. Oh, a promotion! Hawkins got promoted! That's definitely worth a like and subscribe, you guys. Hawkins is a promising designer and he got a pay raise. Woohoo! Yeah, I've never known anybody to disagree with a bigger payday. You're right. Yeah! Way to go, Hawkins! I'm a promising designer. Alright. Our selection of work clothes has been updated. Oh, so he can update his uniform. Let's just see what kind of options we have for that really quick. He was looking at... Oh, let's get some chocolates. Because we can give one of our villagers on our own island some souvenir chocolates to get them to come to the Happy Home Archipelago to design one of their uh, vacation home for them. Let's see what kind of new options we have for uniforms. See if we want to change anything. Um, still kind of the same stuff. They just added more of our own clothes selection, it looks like. So they haven't given us his red ladder shades yet, which would go better with his uniform. So we're just going to go ahead and just leave it the way it is. Thanks for joining us on Hawkins' sixth build here, this lovely arcade. Uh, we want to check out something else we just thought of really quick. Do we have any tool stuff in here? Oh, yeah, he hasn't put anything in there yet. Okay, so maybe next time. Maybe next time we'll unlock that. But thanks for joining us, and check out all of our other videos, too. 
We got to build an awesome arcade. We got to spend some money. And we are done. We'll see you next time. Bye bye.